Hey guys, it's time for another sketchbook tour. This time, it's a Stillman and Byrne Delta Series sketchbook. Now, their Delta Series has heavyweight paper. It's 270 GSM and it's cold pressed, which makes it perfect for these gouache paintings. What I usually start with, though, is watercolor. Then, I add the gouache on top. Now these are some of my favorite pages. I call them the yellow pages for obvious reasons. Now on the left side we have a painting of my left hand and on the right side there's a yellow Vespa and the yellow Vespa is from a show. Comment below if you know from which show it is from. Now the cloud painting to the left is from a reference image I took a few years ago and on the right we just have a 3D pattern of some cubes. Now for these pages I kind of just forced myself to make something and also there's a stamp of my logo on the left now these are some of the only pages where i don't use gouache it's just watercolor and graphite now this painting on the left represents a transition period in my art style where i was paying attention to how light works specifically at night how you can still see clouds stars and city lights and its glow it started to influence even my acrylic art as you can see here It's interesting to note that these ideas were developing while just working on simple pieces on my sketchbook. So here's another painting where I was still developing ideas for this sort of nightscapes uh, and also a uh, Shiba Inu doggo. Now this palm tree I just wanted to paint it because I grew up in Southern California and I just wanted to paint something I always saw there. On the left side I was experimenting with clouds in different colors and on the right we see a red newt. This one I actually took a picture of while I was hiking. Now I was part of this camp in Colorado for about two weeks and they had these boulders so I sketched these boulders while I was there and then later I came in with the yellow gouache and just did this yellow background. Now on the left side it's just a study of the campground I was in in Colorado and on the right it's just a study of different things I guess. Now I was able to visit the Garden of the Gods close to Denver and I made this painting from a reference image I took there. After seeing this painting on my Instagram, Stillman and Burn actually had me as a featured artist on their website so that was pretty cool. Now here I just wanted to mix everything I was doing with abstract geometric shapes because I used to make big paintings of abstract geometric shapes and I just wanted to see if I can mix all of it together. At the end I didn't actually like the result. I don't know what you guys think but that, that was it. Now here I decided to make composition studies, little thumbnails of composition studies to the left and I decided to choose the bottom left drawing to make onto the right side. Now I painted the left side on a whim here so I'm not very proud of it but on the right side I drew my begonia plants and I believe it redeemed these two pages. Now for this painting I wanted to depict the story of the Israelites coming out from Egypt and wandering in the wilderness. I don't know if you've seen the movie, the animated movie, The Prince of Egypt, where they finally leave Egypt at the end. Well, the story continues and they end up just wandering in the wilderness and they're guided and protected by this pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And I just wanted to depict the pillar of fire. Now for this painting, I actually only use watercolors on the sky and most of the painting is watercolors but the trees and some of the greenery is made with gouache. Now here's another example of my city nightscape paintings and for this one the city lights I made with lead white ink. So on my table I have this jar that I put my brushes on and I also labeled it with a drawing of some brushes. <laughs> So basically what I tell people is when you have artist block, just draw whatever's on your table, paint whatever's on your table. So that's what I did here. Finally for these last two pages, I wanted to depict a day and night scene and I constrained it to these two circles. So that's it for the sketchbook, but there's actually about four more pages left in the sketchbook. I just started about two other sketchbooks. One is a moleskin. It's a little bit smaller and the pages aren't as thick. So I'm just going to be using color pencils with this one and maybe some ink. 
So my next video is going to be a framing video where I frame some of my acrylic paintings. So I hope you guys are subscribed. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.